Hello, hello, hello. I am the Divine Maverick, but you can call me the mother of twins. Or also known as the mother of twins. Somebody's thinking about me. I have to turn my necklace around. I am coming to you again, once again, because of this beautifully mild weather here on the East Coast where I am located. And I want, I love to be outside, so I want to do some readings, a couple of um, messages from the, um, you know, from the deck. And you know I'm risking my life and limb doing this, you guys, because I'm these mosquitoes like biting up my face and carrying on. So just so y'all know, I'm giving my life for these readings, okay? I'm laying my life down for y'all and for me. Don't worry about it. Anyway, if this is your first time watching the channel, thank you. Thank you for, um, I hope you like what you see and I hope you subscribe and stay a part of the tribe because when you subscribe to this channel, it puts your energy inside of these readings. So that's how that works. We're a tribe. We're, we're one. We're connected. Is it, and aren't all things connected? Thank you so much for being here. Those of you who are um, coming back, Hey, y'all. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, boy. Hey. Okay. Um, thank you for our comment section, those of you who know how we roll. Thank you that our comment section is not a place of toxicity or venting. If you need to vent because you're hurting, I totally understand I, and I empathize. Please email me. Do not put it in the comment section because I will delete it. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, my intention today is to uh, get some help from my spirit guides and my ascended masters and creator, source, God, universe, spirit, father, uh, with some uh, knowledge from all directions, you know, northeast, west, south. How about um, all time and space, past, present, and future, just to get some messages for the collective. I am intending to give the divine feminine a little sum to it, just that crown. Okay, so let's get started with that card. <laughs> and that's too many, but I'll take uh, three. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll take one more. And then we'll get started by some things just to help us tweak. Let's see what the messages are. My purpose, my purpose is to, um, oh, I love it. My purpose is to give you some messages just to kind of, um, yeah, sorry. I have a uh, victim consciousness, consciousness, victim consciousness. What did I almost say? I have soulmate and I have alchemy. Ooh, I love it. So my purpose is to talk about some areas of healing that's needed because that's the name of this deck is a it's a healing cards deck heal yourself let me turn the uh, soulmate right quick i need to see something brand new deck Mm-hmm. and this card is this okay it's about your soulmate being near you to you now let me go to this before i intuitively read i just want to see what they're saying yes i love it okay Let me get some signs out here. Three big areas. Somebody's going through a transformation. Let me transformation, please. Wow, that peaked out. You could be an Aries. Oh, fire sign woman with, the, with that bowl of fire behind her. Right? And you are definitely in your power. You're owning your power. There's somebody that is very... Um, diamonds. You might like diamonds. You might have just bought... Uh, Purchased a, like a diamond necklace, diamond earrings, or um, you are very well uh, versed with your crystal magic. Here you are. Um, I don't know. You might want a clothing line. You might want a clothing line, or uh, yeah, you might want a clothing line. Maybe you even design clothes. Maybe you're a stylist. Maybe you need a stylist. Uh, either way, your life is coming. Um, your look at this card. Your life is about to change right now. You're in the midst of transforming. That cauldron behind her lets me know that you are magical and you are starting to realize and understand. You're, you've come to some realizations very recently. Maybe the month of April, too, was pretty big for you. Um, only because I'm looking at that birthstone. And if you look in her hand, she has like an orb of something like vapor coming out of it. But clearly, clearly, um, alchemically, you're learning how to use all the elements, fire, earth, air, water, and you're learning how to transmute and transform things, um, energies, uh, circumstances, people, places, things, 
well, not many people, but you know, you, you, you being the person, but you're learning to even transmit your energy. I'm feeling um, you've been in a place of peace and there's a place of uh, quiet and safety that's, that's, that's been your portion. I feel also looking at this card that you're very stable. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of queen of wands energy off of here. I'm only using major arcana. So I'm just saying, um, I do feel like this is like a, this is like for me, for me with this deck, this will always be my like queen of wands card, I think. Yeah. But anyway, the card is about your life is your consciousness is elevating and ascending and you know, you're, you're transforming alchemy. Okay. And also this, the next card is the soulmate card. Going on the soulmate, please. Thank you. Could be an Aquarius. So you could be, or you or your person could be an Aquarius, but there's a lot of, um, healing going on around in the soulmate relationship or this this will be of course my twin flame card in this deck um like i said you get to see me literally start to mold and meld my deck <laughs> right but anyway um your your soulmate is very very much near you you can feel your soulmate telepathically probably for some of you um uh, moving in that 5d um some of you are definitely having some astral tantric love da, da, da. you know you getting it let's get it on you get it on in 5d um consistently um some of you might be pregnant the only reason i say that is because he's touching her belly i know he's like embracing her too but i don't know i just feel like i was going to say for fertile you might be taking fertility treatments um or you might be uh realizing that you are um still fertile i don't know if, if that was a question for somebody that can i still have kids because maybe you're a little advanced in age i don't know I'm, I'm thinking past 50 you know maybe even past 55 or something but um i'm i'm hearing the message i was gonna say you are fertile if i'm at yes spirit is saying yes you are fertile you, there is still an opportunity for you to have children but um some of you are still longing for um, connection. Some of you are in no contact um, with your, you know, your your person, your twin. Um, but you fe you feel your twin all around you, and you can feel them even getting closer. And it's funny, even without a word. Some of you did some um, work on the last full moon, which was May seventh. That was the flower moon. Uh, for some of you, uh, I'm seeing Nebraska. I'm hearing Dublin. As I'm hearing Dublin, I'm thinking Ireland, but it doesn't have to be because there is a Dublin. There are Dublins everywhere, but I'm um, hearing Dublin, D-U-B-L-I-N. Um, for some of you, this this is going to, not just because of COVID or anything, but because uh, the, the union, I mean, is going to be in winter time. As I'm looking at that card, that looks, I know she's not dressed for winter, but I'm saying if you look behind him, I can't stop looking at that mountain. For some of you, it's been a lot, a lot of obstacles. And I, I'm not just talking about the no communication or just the regular twin flame stuff. I'm uh, between the twins. I'm talking about outside influences. Maybe um, you know, some of you were dealing with you know waiting, waiting for um, divorces, uh, separations, breakups, whatever. Um, some of you were literally waiting for the um, ice to break, looking for an icebreaker, waiting for the ice to melt. I don't know. You might live in Alaska. And something, something about ice and melting and iceberg, ice breaking, and icebreaker. Okay, so for some of you, it was an icebreaker, maybe at work or something that kind of, you know, led you to this person, and you haven't been together since or something. But um, you may still connect. But anyway, either either way, we could be our, we could do this all day. Y'all know how I am. Uh, either way, there's a lot of healing that's coming to this. Uh, soulmate connection but first you're going to be healed you're going to be um, dealt with and the reason why your healing uh, has been sparked is because of this uh, soulmate connection that is on its way or even now here for some of you um, Aquarius again um, I'm feeling a lot of um, reciprocity on this card this is a whole nother message but um this healing in the soulmate connection those of you who are already in talking or at least having some communication there there has been in the past there has been a lack of reciprocity and I, i'm seeing this card and looking at this the star card and i can't stop looking at those red those little because it flows you may you may even be dealing with a, a water sign but um the, the relationship just flows um you may be dealing with even an earth sign as well um with this message but it's like if um 
things have to things are flowing things have to keep moving things are cyclical i'm healing i'm he i'm healing i'm healing i am healing but i'm hearing things are cyclical or things have been running in cycles with you guys maybe six years maybe as much as seven years um you've been kind of going around and around eight years so for some of you but um it's like you're this this is the lifetime this is the lifetime that this comes together okay this lifetime that you're living right now because you have had you know past lives with this person i'm i'm you have had past lives with this person anyway not anyway but moving on i meant to say moving on is what i meant to say victim consciousness here's another thing you're being healed of and this um this card is all about card number 12 um going to a number three which is all about partnership um let me see three is about something else manifesting i knew it was something i got i drew a blank sorry i drew a blank and ascended master so um victim consciousness is all about recognizing uh when you are playing the victim when you are when you are acting or or feeling like life is happening to you and not for you and usually it's never your fault it's somebody else's fault i couldn't do this the dog ate my homework um there was so much traffic i was trying to, i left early but i got stuck in a traffic jam you know but this this right here is this card just simply says um with this healing that you're going through because you're soulmate and and even this ascension that you're in with the alchemy card out uh this victim conscious this whole woe is me and like i said playing the victim feeling like um you know the odds are stacked against you or you have to always you know i have to try i have to try harder hit a bird hit a bird like ah you know kind of whining you hear a bird just kind of let me just put a card on that. Okay, you could be a Pisces. You could be a Scorpio. You could be a Cancer. You could be a water sign. But but that's another thing. You're so watery. Watery sign. Water sign. So emotional. I get so emotional, baby. Every time I think of you. Okay, sorry. Anyway, back. I just... Anyway. <laughs> what? This is over. This is what you're healing from. This is what spirit is doing inside of you, okay? And you didn't, for some of you, this was something, it was an illusion. You didn't realize that this was um, part of your character. You were like living in a in a, in La La Land or, or either deceiving yourself or um, just uh, in a fantasy world about it. Did not realize how much it affected um, with the number three here. I know that's a 12, but number three with the family dynamic, um, the building of things. A, a lot of things, um, I'm feeling with this card, with this person, this woman who could be, um, you could have just dyed your hair black, jet black, because you think it's cute. You could love Cher, Cher's music. You might even look like Cher, the singer, I mean. All right, um, but with this card, I'm feeling very strongly that this um, this woman, this feminine, uh, How can I say this? Ruined it for everybody? <laughs> Ouch. Gird up. With this, this was the holidays. I mean, everything was a... I mean, and I'm feeling some mother energy too. You might be a mom or you might deal with a mom that did this to you and that's where you kind of get it from but it's like the world revolve if you if there was a if there was 18 people in the family that wanted to go to a pizza place you would go i don't want pizza and everything would okay i guess it won't be pizza you know it was kind of that thing you know what i mean so but it was just like no 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 you guys go and then you know it just a lot of i feel a lot of drama a lot of um Look up the word histrionics. It's somebody that's very, very, like, over the top. And I don't mean um, I'm not, you know, in jest or anything or being, um, I hope I'm not, you know, I don't want to hurt or offend. I'm just saying that whatever it is, it's being healed now. You know what I mean? You're coming out of it. I need to eat the cough. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I need my water. <clears throat> Sorry, but <clears throat> maybe that's happening because whoever was around you having to go with this, this whole, she's going to blame us. She's going to, she's not going to take ownership. She's not going <clears> to, <throat> they can't talk. They won't speak. There are people around you that didn't speak. They hid. 
you know, they hid their real feelings, you know. Um, <clears throat> either way, I hope y'all to see that. Because <laughs> I am not redoing this video. That was just water. <laughs> Did y'all see that spit come out my mouth? It wasn't spit. It was holy water. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to keep it moving. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, you're being healed of this. Is there another message? Dude, I'm sorry. I couldn't help but look at her dress. Look at the like creatures or something coming out of her dress. It's a snake there. It's it's like it's like creatures. Her dress is, oh, oh. So I this is my dressing up dysfunction card too. Okay, okay, beautiful, precious. Listen, you're coming out of this energy though. You're definitely coming out of this energy, and it's like there's nothing but ruins around her. And like I said, with a victim mentality, it's like everything is crap. Nothing is good. If, or if, if there is something good, it'll you, you can find something wrong with it. Like like it, it could have been perfect. And it does appear that everything is in ruins around this. And it's and these snakes, to me, are representing, um, you know, like a, what's not known or deception. And it's and it's self deception. It's it's um, it's a it's a false it's just, it's, and look, and look at the third eye. See, it's like the third eye is black, you know what I mean? Like dimmed or, you know what I mean? Like, or injured, you know what I mean? Because again, there was no intuition not working. The intuition wasn't working here. Intuitively, this person was sensing nothing. It was like a, a deadness, but they were able to dress up. You see how the, her clothing and all the stuff that's all tied up in there? It's like she was dressing up dysfunction, okay? So this could be you. I mean, maybe you might have shopped shopped over shopped or you might be like a fashion maven or something but you you thought the the more beautiful you look on the outside the more beautiful you would feel on the inside and um and then you just found <clears throat> yeah somebody definitely needs to speak up and did not want to say anything to you because i don't know what just happened to my voice what's happening to my voice but um you might have even been tormented in your dreams in your sleep at night um uh, black crows may even mean something or the raven you know, the just the, the raven. I feel like a lot of depressive energy. Some of you have come out of some very, very dark places mentally. Um, this is, looks like a, a nervous breakdown card to me. Like um, you, you nearly had a nervous breakdown or you almost had one. Uh, but spirit was like, nope. Because the moon card also is a blessing card, a card of blessing. And so... You're being healed of this, of this, um, of this energy, of this victim consciousness, or, or it's either you're doing, you're doing it now, as you're on your, on this ascension, or you have this is past energy, and spirit just wants to say good job, right? Okay. So let me put. <clears throat> well, how much time is it? Okay, 18 minutes. Spirit, what shall I give? What shall I give? I give okay let's grab one sacred uh, geometry card and see what else spirit is doing inside of you and for you as the journey continues that was easy <laughs> okay make this up throat chakra told you Somebody, somebody needs to speak up. Either the people around you, your family, that's number three, still family dynamic. Somebody, so your family's going to speak up or you're speaking up, uh, feminine. You are, this is uh, number five, okay, is all about change, all right? And so with the alchemy, with the ascension, with the soulmate it, nearer, or this even being on this journey, as well as the victim consciousness being released or relieved from you, from your, from your life experience now, your throat chakra is healing. You know, you're learning to speak your truth instead of blaming. You're learning to own your stuff. You're learning to walk in your authority, speak boldly. You're learning to um, speak with confidence. It says the frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. Okay, so the, um, a lot of peace has come since you have um, 
and I, I'm even feeling like there was a family dynamic that enabled you to to continue. It's like a it was like almost like you were out of control. I don't know, just like a, I want to. I'm hearing tyrant, but I know how tender and precious my beautiful tribe is. But I'm but you know I'm hearing kind of like you you wielded that sword. You knew what you were. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm feeling that energy. But anyway, either way, now that explains the coughing. Cause I'm like, what is going on? Throat chakra is being healed as well. Lucky, lucky, lucky you. All right, let's get one angel oracle card just to encourage you, and we'll be out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you got something out of this reading. I'll be right back. I'm going to turn right around and do another video. <laughs> uh, definitely. Listen to your intuition. Just listen to yourself, okay? And remember, don't hang your head on these things. These are things that are that spirit is dealing with you right now. You're either this is either past energy, and like I said, this is a kudos from spirit, or this is you're in it right now. But just know you're gonna make it. That's why I'm making a video about it. It's energy, so we can see. He's he's showing us readers, you know, or showing me rather that you're gonna be fine. This is what this is what you're dealing with. So if you're where am I in my journey? What am I doing? What, what, what should I be working on? What's happening in me now? then, you know, this should resonate with you, okay? So listen to your intuition and you'll be just fine. Spirit is leading you. Um, thank you for watching. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other. Subscribe. Bye.